What are the oldest mostly unchanged tools that we still use? In the British Museum there's a set of Greek medical instruments. Made of bronze. From about 200 BC. Many of them. Forceps. Retractors. And so forth. Look pretty similar. Right down to the locking jaw mechanism. To those used today. The ones which particularly caught my eye were a set of tubes. Of various gauges. With a very particular gentle S curve. They were identical apart from being bronze. Rather than nickel plated steel. To the early 20th century set that my great grandfather. Carried in his medical bag. What were they? Catheters. I guess that doesn't quite count. Because we use slightly more flexible plastic. Now. Which. I guess must be a little more comfortable for the patient. They amazed me. Though. By demonstrating the sophistication of classical practical anatomy. And manufacturing. And by how long a particularly well adapted form remained in use. Thread and string have got to be up there. Here's https journals.plos.org slash plos own slash article id equals 10.1371 slash journal dot pwn point oh two three four nine two four a paper citing evidence of at least some kind of cordage used as early as approximately 120 to 160 kya the manufacturing process has changed with mechanization and synthetic materials compete with the traditional plant and animal fibers. But if you went back in time and showed someone a piece of string, they'd instantly recognize it. Bone folder. HTTPS. en.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash bone underscore folder. A tool for folding, creasing, and burnishing. Smoothing by rubbing hard thin materials like paper. You can get ones made of plastic or metal or whatever now. But the ones made from bone are still the best. A drop spindle. Not a common everyday tool that everyone uses and while there are plenty of elaborately carved wooden spindles. Or even 3D printed spindles in existence. I have spun yarn with spindles that were made of a dowel and a shark's tooth. The first spindles were little more than that, a stick and a stone or chunk of wood at the bottom. To give it weight, spinning wheels are also in the same category, though their invention is much more recent. Again, there are electric powered wheels and 3D printed wheels that will make it easier but inexperienced. Spinner can produce the same quality yarns on a traditional wheel without all the fancy gadgets and gizmos attached. Sheep shears have been almost completely unchanged since the invention of iron tools. From ACOUP. HTTPS. Slash slash aku.blog. The 5th of March 2021. Collections clothing how did they make it part I high fiber. The availability of iron for tools represented a fairly major change. Iron unlike bronze or copper, is springy which makes the standard design of sheep shears. Two blades, connected by a U-shaped or W-shaped metal span called a bow. See the image, and the spring action, the bending and springing back into place of the metal span. Possible. The basic design of these blade shears has remained almost entirely unchanged since at least the 8th century BC, with the only major difference I've seen being that modern blade shears tend to favor a W shape to the hinge, while ancient shears are made with a simpler U shape. Ancient iron shears generally varied between 10 to 15 centimeters in length, generally closer to 15 than to 10, and modern shears generally vary between 10 cm and 18.5 cm in length. Roughly the same size. Sometimes, more often than you might think, 
the ideal form of an unpowered tool was developed fairly early and then subsequently changed very little. Weaving. Fiber arts is some of the very first technology. Then, modern computers come from weaving. HTTPS www.bbc.com slash future slash article slash 20180423 how dash industrial dash weaving dash gave dash us dash the dash computer https www.bbc.com slash future slash article slash 20180423 dash how dash industrial dash weaving dash gave dash us dash the dash computer and also we are still weaving pretty much just the same i found it interesting that a blacksmith's chest found in gotland Sweden had a collection of tools and artifacts that any blacksmith today could pick up and use. Minor changes to some designs but easy to identify. Mastermere chest. HTTPS. en.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash m% c3% a4 stermier underscore chest. Fixed blade broadhead arrows. Some people are really into mechanical arrowheads that supposedly fly better and expand to cut when they hit the animal. But plain old fixed blade broadheads are very similar to ancient equivalents. In fact, if you do studies on which broadhead designs perform best on game animal tissue, a long, two-bladed, acute angled head works best and it looks a lot like Stone Age arrowheads. The Bone Leather Burnisher. Basically a bone used to work leather during the waterproofing process. Scientists have found versions used by Neanderthals that date back 50,000 years. And some modern leather workers still use bone versions because they don't damage leather or wear down like other materials might. Axes don't go back quite as long as some of the other tools mentioned. But they do go back quite a ways and since the days of stone axes their design and use has changed. Very little. I do love me a good hatchet. The cup. Yeah. I consider it a tool for carrying water. Also probably one of the very first inventions developed. Most likely made from a leaf perhaps by a mother to bring water to her child. Apes and chimpanzees have been known to do this also. Obsidian Knives. HTTPS. Slash slash edition dot cnn dot com slash 2015 slash 04 slash 02 slash health slash surgery dash scalpels dash obsidian slash index dot html. These are relatively similar to Mode 4 flint blades, which appeared about 50k years ago and never really went out of use since. If you know how, you can fashion a blade from flint within minutes. Much more convenient than a metal blade, which were relatively expensive for most of human history. Pointy sticks. So there was a time when man wanted to eat meat but we didn't exactly have claws and teeth to hunt. Prey. The very first spears would have been sharpened sticks used as spears. Today, we take out kids camping and one of the joys is to take them put into the bush and have them pick a hot dog stick that they will sharpen and use to cook. Which I also imagine primitive cooks would have used as well. That technology has been around for about as long as mankind has. Not the oldest tool in the world but the spirit level. The tool with the bubble in liquid that's used to make sure things are level. Date back to 1661. But only really started being used widely in the 18th century. What a marvelous instrument. Nowadays you can use an app on your phone to see if a surface is level but the standalone spirit. Level design with the bubbles still see use. Unlike phones they never need calibration and don't require batteries. I'm agreeing with the club on the oldest tool. A heavy swingable stick is still very much in use. 
but I'm going to throw another one out there. How about the drum? Not the more refined skinned drum, but a simple hollow wooden object you can beat with. Yes, a club that makes a loud noise. Pan pipes or syrinx would be later but are also Neolithic in origin. Drills. There have always been ways to make holes in something. Since the creation of the drill as we know it now. With twisted spiral geometry. That geometry has remained largely unchanged because there aren't very many ways to make rounds. Holes in things. Your basic tools lever. Ramp wheel pulley go out to a playground and you will find a very basic lever in action the seesaw a ramp is a ramp is a ramp is a ramp attach a round thing to an axle and you have a wheel the last innovation in pulley technology was using two or more together and that was thousands of years ago double entry accounting was invented by aristotle way back when We've added more complex rules for derivatives and the ever so popular leasing standard. But debits, credits, assets, liabilities, and equity really has remained unchanged in thousands of years. There's no reason to update your QuickBooks version. Neanderthals invented the lissoir, a small flattened curved rod used for smoothing and burnishing leather. Archaeologists were puzzling over finding a collection of these tools. Until someone with experience in leather working saw them and immediately knew what they were. The ads. Been used since the Stone Age and still widely used today. It's been refined with modern materials but the basic design is still the same. I personally use a mattock which is an ads on one side and a pickaxe on the other.